We're out on court today to test the Mizuno Wave Exceed Tour 6. Let's get started. I've always been a big fan of Mizuno shoes, both on the tennis and the running side, so I was really excited to see what Mizuno had in store for this update. And right off the bat, when I slipped these shoes on my feet, I always do a quick fit check. And for me, I felt like Mizuno made these shoes for my foot. I have a narrow width foot, so the width on these shoes was perfect for me. The length hit just the right spot. And in the previous generation that I play tested, I thought that the toe box narrowed just slightly. With this iteration, I had no issues. Now my two highlights of this play test was the comfort and the lightweight feel. Now in the comfort, there was nice cushioning underfoot for me and I thought the upper did really nice job of molding around my feet. I had no break in period, no hot spots and was able to go straight from taking these shoes out of the box to on court and playing. The other highlight was the lightweight feel. These are really lightweight shoes for me. I had no issues moving around. I can move around quickly, efficiently and smoothly and I thought the playability was really high. Now when it came to support and stability, which are two features that I look for in the shoe. I thought the stability was actually a little bit improved from the last iteration. I looked at my comments and from this six, I had no issues with any ankle support or stability. Now when it came to support with inside the shoe, I was having a little bit of issues getting my heel locked in and so my foot was moving forward and backwards. I did try to alleviate the situation a little bit by using the last eyelet. However, the tongue is on the thinner side like the previous uh, generation so I was getting a little bit of pressure on top of my foot I did kind of do a couple different um, changes and not use the second eyelid to get a little bit better fit locked in but overall still was getting some movement I think Mizuno did a great job with this shoe the shoe takes color extremely well I love all the different color combos that are available right now and for players looking for a lightweight comfortable high performing shoe should definitely check it out if you have worn the previous versions of this shoe, I think this continues to be a great evolution. Mizuno continues to listen to feedback to keep making it amazing. I have to admit, when starting this play test, I fell in love with the 10 year anniversary color. So it was really fun to get these shoes laced up and on the court. From there, it had very similar cushioning to the previous version. This is a very comfortable, lightweight shoe. I actually think one of its main strengths is how durable it is for its weight compared to other shoes in this class it's going to be one of the most durable options out there and then i noticed some tiny little changes that they've made for the better the new construction on the upper definitely flexes better for my feet and then the tongue i know i had issues previously with the five the tongue definitely dug into the top of my heel around my ankle and this one didn't have any comfort issues whatsoever like Brittany mentioned, I did have a little bit of support issues. This was a shoe that I definitely had to utilize that last eyelet. And from there, tying the shoe up, it gave me more support and still had no issues with the tongue. Um, durability wise, it's lasting really well, I, which I'm stoked about because again, I love this colorway. I've been wearing it nonstop on and off the court. And I think this is a great update from Mizuno. I was on the previous Mizuno Wave Exceed Tour 5 shoe review and I remember those fitting my wide feet a little bit snugly and that same fit was here in the 6. Now although I do think these are a better fit for medium to narrow width feet, they did not hurt my wide feet too much. I could, I could feel the uppers uh, stretching to accommodate my feet but I did know that they, my feet didn't quite fit in there. Uh, they still were comfortable underfoot though. The cushioning in these shoes for being so lightweight felt really soft and responsive and plush somehow. Very comfortable underfoot. Um, I found that because of that tighter fit in the forefoot, I had no issues with support there. But as the other play testers mentioned, I did have some struggles uh, initially with the fit around my ankles and my heel. I was getting some slipping. So like the others, I also utilized that last eyelet and I really tied them tightly there. And that's when I noticed an issue that I experienced from the previous. I still had some issues with the tongue feeling really thin and I could feel the laces through the tongue on the top of my feet. Uh, when it came to durability, these shoes are holding up really well for me. And I also found the traction to be on the, ta uh, the tackier side. I could really feel that grip in some instances um, and I wanted a little bit more slip and so I could pivot more easily. Still, I didn't find it to be too, too sticky. 
Overall, I think these are a great lightweight, speedy option, but they just are a better fit for narrow to medium width feet. For more information on these Mizuno shoes or anything else tennis related, be sure to check us out at Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.